On February 2nd, 2020, Katie Sowers became the first woman and openly gay person to coach in a Super Bowl. An offensive assistant with the San Francisco 49ers, Sowers' road to the NFL coaching ranks was difficult. Huddle up and let's run through the untold truth of Katie Sowers. While Katie Sowers was already living openly in her private life, she came out publicly as a lesbian during a 2017 interview with OutSports. Her decision to discuss her sexual orientation, which made her the first openly gay coach in the NFL, was about being honest with herself, even when that decision was far from easy in a pro football environment. Sowers told the publication, No matter what you do in life, one of the most important things is to be true to who you are. There are so many people who identify as LGBT in the NFL, as in any business that do not feel comfortable being public about their sexual orientation. As a leader on the practice field, Sowers chose to lead in helping to usher in an era of queer acceptance in the NFL. She continued, The more we can create an environment that welcomes all types of people, no matter their race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, the more we can help ease the pain and burden that many carry every day. We couldn't have said it better ourselves. Gay figures in sports have often been held back over perceptions that their sexuality could be distracting or divisive, but from what the players have to say, the San Francisco 49ers absolutely love having Sowers on their side. Quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo joined the team after Sowers had already established herself, and from what he told San Francisco's CBS 5, he sounds impressed by the quality of her work. She's been tremendous. Uh, I mean, Katie was here before I was, but. Just um, what she does with the receivers, all the skill position guys, how she interacts with them, it's, uh, it's special. Meanwhile, wide receiver Dante Pettis said that Sowers is a valuable resource for both game strategy and emotional support. There's a lot of times where, like, if we have questions about a play, we can ask her and she always helps. And there's times where she'll check in on me if I have a tough game or whatever. She's always saying, you good, and just know you're important to this team and stuff like that. It's pretty cool to have someone like that around every day. Similarly, wide receiver Richie James praised Sowers' love of the game and infectious personality. James complimented the coach by saying, she loves the game as much as we do. You gotta respect it. And she's really funny, to be honest with you, and she can relate to us more than you'd think. Some of the players coached by Sowers are even tired of fielding questions about her, like Emmanuel Sanders, who sees the team's trailblazer as just another coach, in a good way. Katie's just one of the coaches, you know? Like, I don't really put too much emphasis on, oh, she's a female coach. No, like, she's just one of the coaches, so. During her interview with OutSports, Sowers revealed that she was once turned down for a volunteer basketball coaching job over her sexuality as she was finishing college in 2009. She said, I was told, because of your lifestyle, we ask that you do not come around to the team. That moment really impacted me because it was the first time I truly felt judged because of my sexual orientation. In January 2020, Goshen College President Rebecca Stoltzfus released a statement apologizing to Sowers, claiming that the school instituted a non-discrimination policy after Sowers' departure. The statement read in part, We are very proud of all that our alumna Katie Sowers 09 has achieved in her life and the way that she leads on and off the football field with authenticity, grace, and excellence. Sadly, in 2009, our policies and the laws of Indiana allowed for hiring decisions to consider sexual orientation. I am glad that Goshen College adopted a new non-discrimination policy in 2015, and I am thankful for the leaders before me who brought this change about. Sowers responded to the apology by saying that she loved her time at Goshen in college, and while the experience of discrimination deeply stung, it ultimately put her on a path back toward football and the Super Bowl. That experience actually led me to football and led me to a second chance at, at the game that I originally loved the most. During a 2019 interview on Fox Sport 1's Fair Game with Christine Leahy, Katie Sowers revealed that an unnamed NFL executive once told her his team wasn't prepared to add a woman to its coaching staff. Sowers went on to explain how this made her work even harder to fulfill her dream. Although I hated hearing that, I loved the honesty, because it meant that the words that he was saying was coming from the foundation of ignorance of the organization. But he understood the ignorance. Oftentimes we get caught up in what's politically correct and hearing all these words that make us feel better, when often it could be lies. I'd rather hear the truth and ignorance. That's where we create change. While Katie Sowers may currently be an offensive assistant coach, don't think for a minute that she's about to stop there, because she's ready to go all the way to the top. Speaking to NBC Sports in 2020, Sowers revealed that she could absolutely become a head coach in the NFL and was already actively working toward that goal. Wherever I can impact the game, I will continue to work and to be the best I can be, and if that opportunity comes up and that's where I will truly be a game changer, that's the step I'll take. During Super Bowl 54's Media Week, Sowers used her experience of 
of being discriminated against and her team's resilience in reaching the big game as proof that anything can happen. She told NBC Sports, Look at me now. Look at us now. All these guys up here, all these coaches, they've been doubted in their lives. They've faced adversity. We all have. All you can do is just continue to grind, continue to work, and show everybody what you're capable of. Despite having several disadvantages stacked against her, Katie Sowers became an NFL coach. It was a long road to get there, and the journey is far from over. She spoke about those disadvantages during an interview with the Washington Post in 2020, saying, I didn't have the opportunity to play on a college team. I didn't have the opportunity to break down film. I didn't have the opportunity to network like a lot of people did, but I was up for the challenge. Although she fought hard to achieve her dream and become a trailblazer in the league, Sowers still sometimes has trouble believing that she's really there. She continued, I'm waiting for someone to tell me this is all a joke and they're going to be like, psych, you're not really there, you're not really a football coach. It's one of those things that you really start to look around you and take advantage of every single day. But just like with everything else in Sour's life, she's using this opportunity and her position to help pave the way for others. Being the first, it, it is historic. I mean, there always has to be a first to, to make change, but the most important thing that I continue to say is just to make sure I'm not the last. Microsoft's Super Bowl 54 commercial, Be The One, celebrated Katie Sowers by showing her journey from a young girl who loved football to becoming an NFL coach. In the minute-long ad, Sowers reads her childhood journals reminiscing about her journey from a young dreamer to a Super Bowl champion. The ad didn't just celebrate Sowers. According to GLAAD, it also brought much-needed LGBTQ inclusion to advertising's biggest night. GLAAD president and CEO Sarah Kate Ellis said in a statement, GLAAD has long been advocating for brands to feature LGBTQ people and ads, and we cannot wait for American families to see and cheer on so many diverse LGBTQ icons. It's about time. Just over a week after initially airing, the ad has over 16 million views on YouTube, making Sours a big winner in more ways than one. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.